Well, in my personal opinion, I believe that this instrument is a great instrument. The one thing that I recognized immediately was the punch, the bite that this organ possessed. Uh, before 50s, uh, usually the 50s are a little more metal, but it, this organ right here has great punch, great bite. Uh, it's going to be a great instrument to the right customer. And uh, before I let you go, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. I'm not going to forget that part, Sister KB. Uh, and God bless you. Hit me one time, Randolph. Hit me two times, Randolph. Hit me three times, Randolph. Skip hit me four times, hit me five times, Randolph. on behind the scenes, not goofing around, but Randolph and I often have long conversations about what's the best Leslie that's going to go with this organ. Now, and I love what you just did, you know, thanks for humoring me with my poor James Brown <laughs> imitation. <laughs> it was just a minor inspiration that will probably never be seen in the light of day, but you know. You never know. You never know. <laughs> Anyway, uh, Randolph, so you went out and picked up this organ. Oh, yes. And it came from a, a gentleman who had sadly passed away, and his cousin uh, facilitated the sale of this because we knew, he knew we could ultimately find a good home for this. Yes. Um, but when we got this organ, we were a little disappointed in the furniture condition. But in a sense, I don't view it as poor condition. I view it as having character. The good thing is everything is there. Correct. It cleaned up about as well as it's going to clean up without refinishing. Uh, it's got the matching bench, the matching pedals, and this organ was used in the Boston era. era, area. Uh, in the 1960s uh, and 70s, and it was on stage with a lot of cool groups. Yes, I remember uh, picking it up. Uh, the original owner, he had a lot of posters, and uh, he even had a, a, a map of the city, I, I guess. Oh, where he played? Where he either played or grew up. Or he had a lot of stickers on the back of the Leslie. It was, a, was, it awesome. was an indication uh, Master of Chief, Master Chief. Prof yeah, professionally used. Yes. But it's going to be a great internal restoration. And uh, the fact that all the parts are there, I think, means a lot. So I want to keep it kind of original, just cleaned up, but with all the internal restoration work that we do. And 
And uh, so uh, I was thinking that, you know, we might put two of the tall black Leslies with it, like some touring group or even in a church, they might like to have those kind of neutral color black Leslies that actually is the same coating that you put on the bed of a, of a pickup truck. What we consider a utility finish. Okay, yeah, and it's a very rugged, durable utility finish. Uh, Lionex, I believe, is the technical name for it. And then you came to me and you said uh, you had a, a, another idea because we had that Leslie that was almost the same color as this. Mm -hmm. It was right in my area um, and I was working, working on it. I was like, ah. Oh. That Leslie's been sitting around a while. It's been sitting around for, for a while. And, yeah. Uh, you know, just to keep things. Yeah, we'll uh, pop a 122 amp in it and, and then they kind of look like they belong together. Because the Leslie that this came with, that, it, it didn't look, definitely no, it didn't look like it even went too well, you know, so we'll probably send that out and just get it refinished for some other instrument. Right now we're using our uh, Road Warrior cabinet, which is a reproduction size-wise of a 142 or a 145. I mean, I remember when we had some of these made, they, they did it on a uh, computerized system where everything was measured with great precision. So when we put the parts in it, they fit just like they're supposed to. Like That's actually my shop, Leslie. I, 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 you, you I would hate, hate, to see, hate to see that one go through. I, I, I test all of them on that particular Leslie. Yeah, it's a great way to test the organ because you know this Leslie sounds great. So if something's not right, you know it's not the fault of the Leslie. So we have, we have, some, uh, so we have some options uh, for Leslie uh, com uh, pairing with this organ. So I think we'll just kind of like ask viewers' opinions. Which one? Yeah, you know, uh, whoever wants to buy this organ, they have a choice. We don't have to lock a Leslie on this, tie them together. You know, it's uh, there's some great options available. One Leslie, two Leslies. One Hit me three. one time. Hit me one time. <laughs> <laughs> you can put five Leslies on this. Hit me five times and keep on going, Randolph. I was just I was getting some just uh, good stuff. Okay, you might okay. It's a blooper. We'll keep that. We'll feature that in the bloopers. Okay, you ready? You got the idea? You gotta hit it on the five five times. So. <laughs> okay, okay. So I'll start. I'll, 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 okay, you ready? Okay. <laughs> I didn't know he was rolling. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jim Huss, speaking with you from the showroom at Keyboard Exchange International. We'd like to thank all of you who have helped us grow our business for the past 51 years, and it is our intent to find good homes for all the instruments we have gathered uh, from all over the United States. Thank you to the families that have preserved the instruments and then sold them to us, knowing that we would find good homes for them. If you, on the other hand, are in need of an instrument, please give us a call. Uh, there's been a lot of effort to gather these instruments together and we would like to make you part of the Keyboard Exchange International family. Let's all work together to keep these fine instruments 
going long into the future so that we now and future generations can continue to enjoy the wonderful sound of the Hammond Tone Wheel organ. God bless. Signing off.